This is Algebra, section 9.2, Functions and Graphs. So we've already discussed a definition of function in terms of inputs and outputs. We're going to extend that definition to talk about uh, functions in terms of x variables and y variables. Um, so a function is a relation in which each x variable has at most one y variable. So think about the x as the inputs that we were talking about in section 9.1 and then the y's are the outputs that we were talking about in section 9.1. So um, what that kind of means is like if I have a table of values and I have x and I have y and if I see the same x value having two different y values that is not a function. But if I have different table and I have um, each x value has a different y value, like I can have a 1 again as long as it has the same output, but every input has at most one output. That makes it a function. So if you think about plotting these points, um, on a standard axis, this would be like 1, 2, and then 1, 3. Those lines, those dots, get stacked right on top of each other. That's not a function. Whereas in this one, if I did 1, 2, and 2, 3, and 3, 4, none of those dots are stacked exactly on top of each other. So we can extend that definition of a function for a graph. Um, a function is not allowed to overlap itself. Some people call it the vertical line test. If your points are ever vertical, or you have a line that's ever vertical, it's not a function. So I'm going to take that idea and look at these graphs I have here and determine which are functions. So if I'm looking at this first graph right here, the graph is never on top of itself, so that is a function. Um, and I can pick like a random point here. If I notice this point and this point on the graph are directly above each other. So that technically fails what's called the vertical line test because if I draw a vertical line I have more than one output at that input, so that is not a function. Uh, this one is a function this one is not a function and I can try that again picking any point where it would work right here I have three points that have the same input and on the last one when you see an open circle that means there's no point there and a closed circle there is a point there so even though it kinda looks like it's on top it's not because there's a point here and there isn't one here so nowhere does this graph overlap so yes that's a function so I'm hoping with that information you should be able to determine if a graph is a function or not. I'm um, giving you a... Yeah, that should be enough. You should be able to do the exercises. Uh, if you have questions, you can contact me. Otherwise, good luck with the exercises.